narcoleptic. We have to find, like, the right person here, right? Not an narcoleptic. Slow learner, that's not bad. Athletics and digging. Okay, that's great. We don't need them to do um, any learning because we have Lyra to do. So Catalina is going to be our um, our minor, but also with athletics. So that's pretty good. And then we're just looking for somebody who has athletics and can do some construction as well. Biohazardous, loud sleeper, not good. Gastrophobia. Gastrophobia um, means you won't cook. That's not too bad. So, learning and athletics, even better than the other, um, and construction. I think we'll take Devin. I think we'll take Devin. We have stress reaction, two binge eaters, and a vomiter for stress rea I don't think stress is a problem in the easy mode, though. I don't think my dudes um, have ever gotten stressed out before, ever. All right, so uh, Penny Whackers. We're going to call this Penny Whackers. Big old party big old pastry one okay Pe penny penny ho penny ho whackers penny whackers big old pastry one okay and this is who we're starting with We've got lara catalina and devon does anybody want these does anybody want penny pissland name him after simon name who after simon me lover of sloths all right you're in lover Lover of sloths. Okay, lover of sloths is it? You're in. Yeah. You are in. M M Mubinski. 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 You're in. And who wants to be Devin? Who wants to be Devin? Somebody. Somebody good. Somebody put, put Toto in there. Come on. All right. Toto it is. Toto. All right, Toto is in for you, my cool. Okay, great. Let's embark. Pennywhacker's big old pastry one. Start of a wow. Look at all of this. Look at all of this oxalite. In incredible. That is incredible. Okay, great. So we have. Um... It feels like a bit laggy somehow. Maybe maybe that's just me. There's some hydrogen over here. Great. There's some water up here. There's a bunch of water up here. And then I guess we'll use this water to start with. Perfect. Okay. First things first, man. Let's dig. We must dig. Great. Okay. And we're off on another glorious adventure in this wonderful game, whereby we have to set up a colony and all of these dopes need to do their best to survive, right? That's the name of the game. What's the name of the game? Okay, let's start off with our, 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 our sort of normal base build here, but we're gonna have like some dubber, some double ladder action, some dubber. We're gonna have some some dubber ladder action. We're gonna have a little bit of double ladder action on each side. The base, we don't want the base to be too big because it's hard to like pump a lot of oxygen into a big base, right? So the actual living area, we want it to be like real toit. We want it to be real toit so that it um, it's not too hard to uh, fill with oxygen later on, right? There's like, there's ways around all that, I think. No? Dig a tunnel south for all of the bad gas. Yeah, we will. Don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna dig a south tunnel for sure. It's gonna happen at one of, at, at at some point. I'm not sure like exactly when, but it will happen. I think we're gonna probably build our bathroom over here. It looks like we have chlorine here, which means if there's chlorine close by, there might be some bleach stone, I guess, but maybe not. And there's a whole bunch of polluted water here. Huh. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Intr well, very, very, inter very interesting. I'd say, I say this is very interesting. Okay, so let's go for our bathroom over here. We're going to have the standard uh, two sinks and two toilets. And then, like, maybe a shower as well so that people aren't grimy and they can get, they can get, like, a bit of a, a boner. 
a bonus. They can get a little bit of a bonus from not being grimy later on. And it's good to pump all of that gross water in and around the systems that we make, right? So we're gonna wanna dig out all this crap. This is good because we're gonna get a whole bunch of meal wood from this too. And then we'll make our outhouses. So we'll have a sink, a sink. This is like our standard build, right? We're gonna call this the, the penny whacker build. So if you're active in the oxygen not included community, you refer to this as the penny whacker build from now on, okay? We're gonna be famous, baby. We're gonna make our mark. We're going places. Okay, let's get two outhouses here, and then let's also go for uh, the wash basins here. And then we're gonna wanna have a door straight away to build a nice door here. Uh, and then we're gonna want to come over here and grab uh, this water. That's kind of annoying, isn't it? We can like dig it out a little bit. Okay, we'll dig it out a little bit. So we're gonna wanna go like this, and then we're gonna dig this stuff out, and then we're also going to dig out all of this and some of that. All right, perfect. So at least we have our toilets. Very important to start off with toilets, right? We don't want people making a mess and polluting our water. I think mostly uh, water, all we're gonna use water for is um, is research pretty much, right? Because we're not really gonna make food. We're just gonna let these people live off of raw meal lice for as long as we can. Maybe some mushrooms later as well. We could try to find some mushrooms and get that. Look, there's a whole base here with ladders and everything. This is crazy. All right, so the first geyser we'd, we'd ideally like to find is something that gives uh, more water, right? We want uh, we want like uh, an infinite source of, of water so that we can uh, we can create oxygen with it, right? With electrolyzers. I mean, that's going to come much later, but that's that's what we're hoping for, ideally, right? For the love of God, this time make a make the piss pit great again. Okay, real bear grills. Don't worry, we got this. Outs, outs of bounds. Thanks so much for the donation. I appreciate it. Hey, Sips, found out how to donate on mobile. Anyway, big fan of Triforce and waiting for the Bodega book, but I don't need to tell you that Joe Pesci has a rap video called Wise Guy. You don't say. <laughs> you don't say. Joe Pesci has a rap video called Wise Guy. Uh, it, and um, does, uh, is, does he jump for joy because he's the real McCoy in that, um, in that video as well? Does he just do a drive-by because he's a wise guy? Do all those things and more happen in this rap video? Yeah. Why is this playing Don't Starve plus Terraria? Man, it's this game is is my latest addiction. I can't get enough of it. I, I really like it. It's it's fantastic. I like trying to figure out like all the things. I like figuring out things in games. I don't know if you guys are like that as well, but it's great fun, isn't it? No. What's this game about? This game is about um, managing the um, bowel movements of as many people as you want. All right. We start with three. You can have more. You can get more. And you have to do your best to um, keep them alive in a base and provide the ideal um, uh, environment for them to pee and poo in peace and and then handle all of that waste pretty much i mean there's other asset uh, there's other aspects to the game but i think the biggest mechanic is the pooing and the peeing and handling of that of said poo and pee all right so another thing that we need to try to find um oh look at that boys it's so close to <laughs> Oh, shit! Oh, that's good. That's really good. Okay, so that's gonna be our oxygen sorted out. It's gonna take some time to get there. Are there a lot of germs in our way? No, there's not. There's just a cool... It's nice and close. Oh, that's great. Okay. So, oh, and look at this. We got thimble reeds here too, which is fantastic. These ones probably won't grow because it's gonna get hot around this cool steam vent. Um, so we're gonna wanna... 
auto harvest these so that we can make the uh, Atmos suits, right? No? A good, a good, wow, what a, I know, what a start, eh? Holy shit, we're lucky. How many maps have we played where we just haven't even found a geyser or they've been buried or whatever? This is great. This is really good. So we should be able to get oxygen up and running um, sooner rather than later. Like, I don't even think it's that treacherous getting down here. The only thing is, is that it's very hot around here. And once this thing starts, like, belching stuff out, uh, it's going to get even hotter. So we're going to want to, like, uh, encase this. Uh, as soon as we can. The only thing is, is that there's slime and shit, so we might need suits, um, or else our dudes are gonna get um, bad cases of slime lung. Right? Everybody's idle right now because I haven't said any jobs. I haven't said any jabs. Okay, let's set some jobs. Let's dig down here like that, and let's also get our uh, pitcher pump. I'm gonna get the old pitcher pump set up here. Perfect. And then we can dig this out and some of this out, too. Okay, good. That's great. Um, yeah, so we're going to want suits to go down there. And then we're going to probably have to have some sort of um, setup where we have hey, some you chlorine. Handsome bastard. Take my money. Okay. Had any operation last week. Cut my ACL because I'm a dum-dum. Oh, so shit. got nothing to do besides watching you and lying on sofa. Decorate nice. that drab mic with something humorous. Like googly eyes or a Lewis sticker. Okay, boiled pigeon. Will do. Thanks so much for the donation, Feel man. I appreciate stupid it. forgetting how to cheer. Anyway, don't kill me too quickly, dad. Okay, Mubinski. Thanks so much for the donation. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, right. Okay. So we've got the pump. We've got toilets. And we've got these uh, basins that need to be put like this. Um, we can dig out the bottom here and start, um, having some place for, uh, the carbon dioxide to go to. Uh, we're probably gonna need some, uh, beds and stuff too. And storage? I'm not sure how we're gonna do storage just yet. I mean, we could have just normal storage in the base, or we could try to do some sort of, like, chlorine chamber for, uh, for storage. It just means that people... It's kind of... It, it'll be a little bit tricky because, um... Because we don't want chlorine escaping into the base, right? Like, that's definitely something that we don't want. Because it's kind of annoying to deal with. We'd have to pump it out, right? We don't want it to just, like, fall out. But there's a lot of chlorine over here. And there's a lot of chlorine here. So we could try to set up some storage in chlorine. Uh, otherwise, we could just pump chlorine into, like, a... Uh, into an ore scrubber and, uh, and do it that way. So we're going to want to have, like, uh, uh, an airlock... Uh, probably like here. Uh, we'll probably have like an airlock here and then we can put like uh, an ore scrubber before it so that they come before they bring anything into the base, they scrub it uh, and then they come in here and we can have like all of the Atmos suit stuff here. I mean, that's that's much later on though. That's, that's much, much later. Uh, to start with, we're going to need to um, start doing some science. So let's get our science room set up. One, two, three, four. Perfect. We'll do it like this. We'll do this. We'll do the old uh, penny whacker setup for it. Let's get some doors in here too. And then let's do that. And then let's also get a ladder that goes up to here. Hi, Sips. Hi, Chats. To the top. Hi. Hi there. How are you? Hi. Good, good old Norm. <laughs> Thanks so much for the bits, man. I appreciate it. I've been learning some things. Well, I've played it a little bit now, and there's, there's, I, I think, I think to, to, to start with at the start of the game, I think I've got like a fairly good handle on things. It's just the mid game where things start to fall apart. I've had games as well where heat's become a problem too. Like, uh, there's going to be a lot of heat generated here, so we're going to want to put our crops somewhere cooler. I think maybe like at the top over here. Where it's a, li a little bit colder. Like, maybe even, like, more up here. There's a vacuum up here. A cold vacuum as well. Uh, because even with... Um, oh, look, there's some thimble reed here, too. Uh, even with... Um, with these with these meal uh, lice. The meal meal worms or whatever they are. You know, these, these fucking things. Meal woods. Um, if they get too hot, they'll stop producing, right? And, and they have to have, you have to have, like, a decent enough atmosphere for them to, um, to grow in as well. So there's lots of things to think about. 
we want to make sure that we have steady food and, and steady air. And then everything else is pretty easy, right? No? Possibly? Why do you have the space between your rooms and the ladder? Um, I'm going to leave this space in between the rooms and the ladder so that I can put uh, airflow tiles. It just helps, like, oxygen rise and the CO2 fall, right? It just makes it, like, a little bit easier later on. We don't have the, uh, the science for airflow tiles now, but it's just, like... When we do get it, then we can put them in, and then it should help, like, all of the gas flow around the base a lot better. You know? You know what I mean? RimWorld is leaving early access in nine days. Jeez. That's crazy. We'll play some more RimWorld again at some point. It's a great game. We'll play this for a bit. We'll probably play some XCOM for a bit, and then we'll probably hit up RimWorld or something. We might be doing, like, a, a sponsored thing on a, on a good game uh, soon as well. But I'm still waiting to hear back from that. So that, that'll happen sometime soon, I think. I think, I think it, it, if it is going to happen, it'll be, like, either this week, maybe next week. I'm not sure. I'll have to see. It's a good one, though. Yeah. You can open the top and let the geyser vent up into a room. It will condense into water. Yeah, I think we're going to, um, we'll dig down, um, in a bit, and then we'll, we'll put, like, a roof here, and then we'll try to, like, just make a big container to store all the water in. The, the thing is, the water's gonna be hot, so we can, so we can pump the water into an, I think, no matter what, I think, if, no matter how cold the water is, I think an electrolyzer will always output gas at 70 degrees. So then we're going to have to try to cool the... Like, if, if we're going to pump oxygen back into the base, we don't want to pump 70 degree oxygen back into the base, right? We want to try to cool it off a little bit first because then the base will get too hot and we won't be able to grow food or anything unless we grow food, like, elsewhere. The only thing is, though, is that this, this like, biome is the, is the only one with, like, a normal temperature. Like, the cold biome is obviously too cold and all the other ones are a little bit too hot. So we, we want to, like, regulate the temperature that's coming in. That's the, the only problem with this being so close is, is, the, is the massive amount of heat that it's going to produce. And that heat is just going to creep up into the base. So we're going to probably have to insulate the base, um, which we can do. It's, it's probably fun, right? Is that 70 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit? I don't, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not sure, actually. I never paid attention. I just know that it's too hot. I think you want it to be about, like... Ideally as cold as possible, but if we're pumping oxygen into the base and it's like 20 degrees or 25 degrees some that's fine, right? It says C. Okay, good. You should try ranching this time around. Might help you get better food for the mid game. Um, I think if I were going to do ranching, um, it would be primarily for coal. But I think you can ranch these little, um, these little dudes here. These uh, Drekos. I think there's, like, a, a, a specific type of, of Dreco gives you plastic, like, uh, j just without you having to, to do anything with it. So we could try to find that for later on. The plastic would be good. I don't know. For food, I, I don't know if I necessarily need to do anything um, ranching-wise for food. I mean, it's probably good. I, I've never really tried it, so. Like, I've done a little bit of ranching. The pens are all different, right? Like, Dreco's will, like... They need, like, uh, food. Like, you need to set up farms for them to eat. Whereas hatches, they'll just eat, like, sandstone or whatever, right? It's not a problem. Okay. We'll get, um, we'll get our science and stuff set up in here anyway. And then we can start working on, um, um, getting some beds for these people as well. So we'll get the research station. Let's also get, um, a manual generator and a tiny battery. And then we have room for the supercomputer in here too, when that's ready. Okay, good. And then priority wise, we want um, our dude doing the research here. Was it Toto or was it Lover of Sloths who was gonna do the research? Toto has five learning. So maybe we should have Toto. And then Lover of Sloths has five construction with athletics as well. Jesus Christ, Lover of Sloths. That's incredible. Okay, you can have that. And then digging. 
We didn't really get anyone. Oh, yeah, Mubinski's got three digging, so that's pretty good. All right. We'll set those priorities like that for now, and then we can always change them after. We are flush with oxygen in this chamber. There is a lot of oxalite in here. Like, we, we might not need to produce any oxygen for a little while, so that's at least something as well, right? No. If you start ranching, can you ensure the critters are free range and ethically harvested? I don't want to see greasy bubs torturing those beautiful Grecos left and right. No, me neither. That's not what I'm here for. Okay, I'm not I'm not here to abuse virtual animals unless they're dogs in Grand Theft Auto. That's that's the only time I'll I'll do it. All right. We'll get farming um on the go for research and then um while we're doing that as well let's get a um a door here we don't have any raw metal for some reason it's kind of nuts um what's this four and four okay we just start like we can dig up some here raw metal there's a whole bunch of it up here okay that's fine that's fine I don't want to run out of raw metal. There's some iron over here, too. If you want to pump, pump iron. All right. A loud sleeper. Bottomless stomach. Not the greatest, either. Um, but creativity is pretty good. And narcoleptic. So we probably don't want any of these guys. We don't want a loud sleeper. They're annoying, right? We don't want to have to deal with a loud sleeper. Ever. Because then you have to, like, work around them and stuff. And that sucks. I don't want to work around anybody. Okay, let's get a couple of cots set up. We'll make a bedroom for these dudes so they can have a comfortable sleep. And they've got their comfortable toilet as well. To take a comfortable pee and poo on. Maybe storage somewhere kind of central this time. Yeah, I don't know what to do um, with uh, with storage because I would like to have um, some sort of like uh, way to cleanse what goes into storage because I don't want like a bunch of infected shit. But I guess having said that, we'll probably do like um, we'll probably have like an ore scrubber, right? There's a ton of chlorine around that we can use for that. So we just have to find um, some bleach stone just to fill up our chlorine chamber again as well when we need it. Um, okay. So maybe we can put, maybe we can do like a storage like in the middle here, sort of. And then we can mine up all this stuff. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> hey guys, just popping in, say hi for a minute. Hi, Suze Love, how are you doing? Where's Pyrian? I don't know, where is Pyrian? Probably playing Dota, I'd, I'd have thought. Maybe? Storage and CO2 is sterile. Right. Are you, really? CO2? Are you sure about that? Why? Because slime lung can't, um, can't spread to, to CO2? So many light bugs. Yeah, I know. We got lots of light bugs here. Look at all of them. We got one one hatch. That's that's all we need though, right? Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of light bugs in here too. This is a great seed. I don't know what seed it is, but if you guys want to play on this seed, figure it out and then you can, <laughs> you play on it. It probably probably had it at like the start, right? Where did all this water come from? Oh, it's overfl it, it overflowed a little bit here, I think. Okay, fine. Okay, so that's that research done. So let's get right into advanced research so we can get the supercomputer up and running. Get some storage built in here. Storage container out of sandstone. Seems okay. Okay, we'll do like a line of storage there and then we can make like another room down here or something. Um, we'll probably want to set up a farm like up here, I'm guessing. And then we have to be careful of this water as well. 
Okay, that should be fine. We just don't want to like flood flood the craps. We don't want to we don't want to flood any of the any of the craps. It's going to we're going to get a little bit of heat here too, but we can probably insulate this room. Let's stop some of the heat coming in. Okay, so let's start storing raw metal. Let's start storing um, some algae in here as well. And then minerals in here so that we can tidy up a little bit. Get some minerals in here too. Um, consumable ore. Let's get some coal in here. And then we can store like um, seeds and whatnot in here. And then let's make sure that all edible stuff goes into the ration box, the ration box. I love you, Mary Jane. Again, we want to be careful that we don't spill this water out. There's sand here, too, so we have to be careful about mining this stuff out. Th this will disappear eventually, but then this sandstone and this algae here are where it, are going to hold this water in. And then we can always, um, we can always uh, pipe this water down into this big water container that we're going to make around this geyser, right? And that's, that's where... It, we're gonna need to produce oxygen, not just for the base, but for the uh, for the suits as well, right? And then we're gonna have to get some. We're gonna have to find uh, ice biome so we get some of those wheeze warts to cool things down in the base too, um, because there, we're get, there's gonna be a lot of heat coming up here. CO2 works like a fridge; it doesn't disinfect like chlorine. Okay, good. Who wants to show your seed to them? Stop sips. Your build up next to the water will collapse because it's sand. It will fall. Oh, don't worry. It's not going to fall. Look, it, we're going to keep it in. We're going to keep it in check here. It's fine. Even if the water does spill out, it's fine. It'll just go down here and then we can... We're, we're, we want to pull water down here anyway, so it's fine. It should be fine. See, these are already... It's already too hot down here for these thimble rooms. Long time lurker. First time donator. Love you, Pappy Sips. Oh, Love man. Love the oxygen not included streams. Never stop, please. Okay. We're no strangers to love you know the rules and so do I a full commitments what I'm thinking of you wouldn't get this from any other guy. <laughs> wouldn't get this from any other guy. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. I've got to make you understand. Spook. Thank you for the 50 bucks. That's super generous and I love you. Thanks, man. Thanks so much, Spook, for the 50 bucks. What a champ. What a way to start the week. Jeez. What a guy. <laughs> Thanks so much, Spook. I appreciate it. All right. What are we going to research next? Next, we could probably uh, go for... Um, 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 I'm thinking... Um, plumbing and sanitation. And then into... Okay, let's go for plumbing and then sanitation since we have we can get the supercomputer set up now. Right? Supercomputer. Good power. And then we want to have a jobs board as well so that we can get these people doing some jabs. Be good. All right, good. And then we can start planting some food. We need uh, 4, 8, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we need two more planters to ideally have enough food for all of our dudes. Uh, we're going to need some more though as well though, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's like two more dupes worth of food in there. If we built another one here, which, you know, we probably can do actually. Let's do it. Let's put more food in in here. We're gonna put more food on the table. Let's for... keep it up. Love you, Dad. A Froxy. Hey, a Froxy. Um, wow. Thanks so much for the hundred bucks, a Froxy. Holy shit. 
I don't know what song to sing you because I already sang probably the only song I'll sing all day except for maybe Mary Jane but a Froxy thanks so much man I appreciate it that's super super generous that's 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 doubly more generous than Spook and that's saying something because Spook was uh, was super generous as well so thanks so much man I appreciate it a hundred big ones holy jumping Jehoshaphat that's crazy thank you very much all right we're good for oxygen Oxygen was included this time, it turns out. Like, look at all of this oxalite. Holy crap. This is, this is, this is the best, the best seed ever, isn't it? That's a really good one. Jeez. Okay, so we're going to put some more food in here. We're going to need to start storing dirt as well. So we want dirt. I have to be careful with these, with this dirt compactor because... Cultivable, uh, cultivable soil includes, um, I think, clay. Clay generally is covered in slime lung. See, like, look, it's all, it's all here covered, covered in slime lung. So we want to scrub that, and if we can't scrub it, we just don't want to store it in the base and spread the germs around. It's gross. Please press escape to share the seed. Okay. There you go. The world seed is 15867921161. And it's a good one. It's a really good one. 15867921631659218593258776541293532 teasing us about the seed, yeah. Niner, yeah. Niner. You're right about this. You're doing great, Niner as well. So I the only thing with... outdone. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run Never around gonna and desert you. Around. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. And hurt you. Never gonna give. Never gonna give. Give, give up. Spook. Oh my god. Thanks so much for the hundred... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Jeez. All right, we're done. Quota met today, guys. See you later. We're all done. We don't need to stream anymore. I, I'm rich. I'm rich. See you later. Bye now. Bye. Just gonna <laughs> sit around in my underpants by myself for the rest of the day. Not talk to anybody. See you later. That's a bit. That's a decent amount of candy cocaine. You're right about that, Christmas crustacean. You're exactly right about that. That is a decent amount of candy cocaine. Think of all of the vials of candy cocaine I could buy in Germany for that amount of money. And you know what? Maybe I will spend all my money on that. No? Maybe? Wow, my cool. Holy crap. My cool. Thanks for um, giving out uh, 20 tier one community gift subs as well jeez this is crazy this is a this has got to be a day that's gonna live on in infamy until the end of time right the day that people donated like uh, huge sums of money like right off the bat and then my cool gifted 20 subs to random people in the channel choo choo just saw the kermit the frog vid of you with hat films you laughed so hard after seeing kermit's head bobbing skills oh my god yeah that was really funny wasn't it that was smithy is hilarious it's uh, his 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 dedication to role play is i would say unmatched like that guy seriously loves a bit of role play it's nuts and he's good at it too he's he, he definitely has the skills this the role play skills to, to pay the bills it's good all right so we have some storage uh the supercomputer is uh set up uh but we need uh to set jobs for people so we want to make sure that our research assistant is none other than toto um whose morale uh is not high enough yet but it's fine and then uh the other two guys um lover of sloths and uh mubinski are gonna learn how to be better gophers because i think it gives them a um i think it gives them like an agility increase or whatever 
the one that makes them move faster. When you have a guy that can move really fast, it's incredible. And if you can have more than one guy move really fast, that's even more incredible, right? Because it just means they get to the places they need to go to faster and the jobs get done quicker. So if you're ever looking to hire somebody in the near distant future, because, you know, maybe you become some sort of business owner or you open a retail store or something and it's a big store and people need to walk to and fro a lot, make sure you have somebody with high agility skills on your team because that person is going to be invaluable. And I would also say, don't even think about paying him only minimum wage. Like, you need to reward high agility with, um, with, a, with a decent wage, right? Not even just a livable wage, a comfortable wage, okay? So take that to heart. Bristle Blossom are better for food. They just need to have light. Well, light is not a problem for us. Like, we have all of these bugs. We have all of these bugs in here. If, if the, only there was some way that we could drop them off. I guess if we get the creature drop off, we could wrangle them and just put them in here. They're wild and happy. If they get stuck in these rooms and they would never get out, that could be really great, right? That could be a good thing for us. Okay, let's uproot some of these plants. Is there like a, is there like an uproot? Oh, there's like a harvest thing, but there's not like a mass uproot. That's fine. Okay, we can think about getting, um, we can think of get, about getting some, some bristle, bristle blossoms. That could work. That could work. All right, so sanitation is all done. So I guess we're going to want to go into uh, filtration and distillation next so that we can get our uh, toilets upgraded. Um, and then we're going to start working our way down here. We're going to make sure that we go straight down so as to not uh, disturb any of the slime and start spreading slime lung all over the place. And then we're going to build like a chamber for this cool steam vent and then we can start doing some stuff around that as well uh we're gonna need to set up a um some some power at some point but i think whatever we set up down here can almost be self-powered by um by the hydrogen that we're gonna collect from the uh, electrolyzers right so that'll be pretty good and then we can pump oxygen into the base and then we can pump oxygen into our atmos suit things as well right so we're going to want to have um, some sort of, like, staging area in here, I think. So we'll build this. We have another duplicate that we can get. Anemic, irritable bowel, and small bladder. Plus four digging and learning. You're doing great, this duplicate Dad! has a tiny pea-sized bladder. Adorable. Seeing as this is turning out to be a dick waving contest, I'll add my two inches. Right, Enjoy okay. Your retirement. <laughs> them three. Hey, Gaz, thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for the donation. Thanks for your two inches. I, I love it. Thanks very much. If the steam vent is hot enough, is there a thermal generator in the game? I haven't made it near as far as you yet. I am learning a lot. I don't think there is a thermal generator, no. Um... I think that there's like a steam turbine, um, but that's really later on, and I don't think um, I don't think like a vent can do it. I think you need a bunch of other stuff. I think I'm not sure though. Um, if we ever get around to doing it, we'll figure it out. I'm sure, but um, it, it's like a much later power thing, right? I think I think generally uh, people prefer to find um, a natural gas geyser because that's a little bit easier to um, to make a lot of power with yeah take extra time to do your business as well nice i don't know if i really want any of these guys well the small bladder might be okay with the digging okay who wants harold we'll take harold fuck it okay his bladder change is going to be plus 0.2 percent per cycle he's just going to piss a lot right no me stuff it we're going to do it yeah epico <laughs> Epico, you were in last time, were you not? Jeez. Steampunk 360. You got it, baby. Steampunk 360. You're in. Okay. 
Let's print him. Nice. Okay. Let's collect this algae. I think this guy's stuck down here until we... Oh, no, he's fine. Okay, so we want to dig out this stuff as well. Because eventually we are going to have to use a, a de oxid deoxidizer. Is it a deoxidizer? Deoxidizer, yeah. We're eventually going to make some. And we can make some of these um, algae terrariums as well. We need to. Alright, so the idea then is that... Here, let's plant these mealwoods too. So the idea is that this is going to be sort of like a, an airlock or a place for our Atmos suits, okay? And this is going to be like our way out of the base. Um, and then everything else, we're going to try to insulate it from this heat. So this, like, probably the bottom here is going to have like a layer of insulation so that the heat doesn't like get into the base too much. This is going to produce a little bit of heat as well. So we can maybe put like some insulation here. Uh, and but possibly we could just move this out of here eventually and then maybe put some more um, Some more food in here, although it'll probably be too hot by then, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm not sure just yet I'm still thinking I'm still thinking about all of the possibilities here on this map We one thing's for sure We can't screw it up because this seed is great you know what, if we do screw it up, we'll just restart again using this seed. Because somebody wrote it down, right? No? Yeah, you did. Okay, good. Do you have pumpkin pie on Canadian Thanksgiving? Yeah, I used to. I haven't celebrated Canadian Thanksgiving for like 15 years. But, um, yeah, we used to have pumpkin pie. I think it's basically the same as, as American Thanksgiving, except it's just on a completely different day. I don't know why the Canadian Thanksgiving is uh, in October. It's today, isn't it? Canadian Thanksgiving is today. Pretty sure. Is it? Is it today? No. Yes, it is. Oh well. Happy Thanksgiving, you Canadians. If you're, if any of you are in the chat and watching right now, have a good one. No, it's now UK only holidays. Yeah, pretty much. Leftovers are already in the fridge. What the hell? What the hell? It's like, what time is it there? It's like fucking in the morning. You guys, you had you had your turkey dinner at 7 a.m. What the hell? The Canadians are just a lot more thankful. They're a lot more apologetic. I don't know about thankful. They're probably they're probably even apologetic for having an early Thanksgiving. Am I right, guys? When I say this about Canadians, sorry, sorry about my early Thanksgiving. No. Does the UK have a Thanksgiving? No, the UK is not thankful for anything. So the UK used to be like uh, like the, the powerhouse of the world. And then um, probably like in the 1950s, that, that ceased to be. So now they're, they're just bitter. <laughs> they're not thankful at all. They're just just bitter. They're, they're, they're constantly thinking back to the glory days and wishing they'd come back. And cursing the United States of America, am I right? True. Yeah, the world owes us. Yeah, right. <laughs> the UK is not thankful for anything. No, if anything, most people should be thankful to the UK, right? <laughs> is that, that that's that's what Thanksgiving truly is, right? Saying thanks to the UK for for just like keeping it real for all, <laughs> for all of those years. I'm just whoa, shit. What have I pressed here? Interesting. That was really weird, wasn't it? No. Hello, silence. Yeah, right. Fly a rocket into the sun. Okay. I'll get right on it. I'll get right on that. Um, okay, so we're researching. Uh, we have four dupes now. Uh, we need to get some more um, of this stuff. So we might as well dig down into here. Because we want to dig down into here anyway, right? So we'll start digging down into here. And then we can uproot a bunch of this stuff plant it in the base. There's some buried muckroot here too. So we'll grab that. And there's a bunch of oxygen in here that can rise up. And then hopefully this can just become a really gross CO2 chamber. 
like barely any CO2 in the base. This is insane, isn't it? It's really good. So the only thing with building around here too is that we're probably going to need a med bay because these guys are going to get scalded. It gets hot. And they can die if they get too burnt up. They can also get heat stroke. We don't want our guys getting heat stroke. We're going to have to probably uh, dig up pretty soon too so that we can get... Actually, you know what we probably want? Mesh tile? No. We're going to get our toilet sorted out. So we're going to make a piss pit pretty soon. A piss pit could probably just like go underneath our airlock, I guess. Wait, does the... Um, what is the what does the scrubber um, give? It's a it's a it's a utility, right? Or a scrubber? Supply of chlorine, overheat temperatures kills a significant amount of germs present on raw ore. Does it just produce? It does. There's no byproduct of scrubbing ore. There's no like piss water or anything like that. No. Maybe. We want the guys to have only a stroke. Can you put the piss monster in the piss pit? Piss monster to the left. What, this this guy? This guy here. Dreco, he's not a piss monster. He's a, he's a hydrogen fiend. I think they like hydrogen. I think that's, the, that's their thing. I think that's what they like. I'm not, I think these little one-eyed guys that run around uh, are piss monsters. This dude up here, a Paku. A Paku is a piss monster. No, no, it's not, that's not a... No, Paku is not a piss monster. Although, this Paku is swimming in piss, so I guess he kind of is a piss monster. I was thinking more of those other guys. I can't remember what they're called now. You know those little one-eyed guys that produce uh, polluted oxygen? And a lot of it? Those are the guys I'm thinking of. I think that this... Water is hot enough to have gotten rid of all the slime lung around here, too, which is pretty good. So that means that this slime, we could harvest this slime, and it's not going to have anything on it. And there's some clay here, too, that we could harvest. It's not going to have any slime lung on it. One-eyed piss monster, yeah. Left and then up. Left and then up. You mean this guy here? Another Paku. That's the piss monster. Yeah, we could try to put him into our base. I don't know how to wrangle these guys. Ranching is not something I've done an awful lot of, I'll be honest. It seems cool, but I just haven't really done too You're much of it. Great, Are you looking forward to Red Dead Redemption 2? Yeah. Go Dayum. <laughs> I am looking forward to you being hunted by the cousins of your lasso targets and dog owners. Yes. Fuck. I'm ready. I'm I'm ready too. I'll get it. I'll get it and we'll play it. I I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it like fucking day one sort of thing. I mean I'll try. Like I'm lazy, but I am looking forward to playing it. Definitely. I'm definitely looking forward to playing it. We'll try it out, okay. Promise. Um what where do we wanna Okay, so we wanna dig down like right above it pretty much. And then start building our um Start building, start building a wall out of sandstone. Sandstone gives you plus twenty five percent run speed, um, but it doesn't do anything to like capture heat. So maybe we might want to even insulate like against that. Oh, look at all this. This is great. <coughs> okay, so our food supply is pretty good right now. We're just doing a bunch of science and collecting stuff. Let's start collecting seeds and putting them in here as well. We haven't had to produce any oxygen yet either, which is great. Okay, let's uproot this bad boy and plant it in our planting box. And then I guess we'll start working our way down towards this. We don't have... Ventilation, we have the gas filter. And for power, we have... Wires and tiny batteries. So we still have a lot of research to do before we can really do, like, anything here. But that's fine. We'll figure it out, right? Okay, I guess we'll just use sandstone. So we're going to probably want this to, like, cap off. 
right here. And then we're going to want to have a ladder that comes down. Can't go too close because it gets too hot around here. It's going to get too hot around here. Look at, look at how burning hot this is. It's insane, right? <clears throat> I think that's probably about right. Okay, so let's get a ladder that goes down onto here, and then we can start clearing out some of this and that. Oh, we're gonna need like a we're gonna need a, a better miner as well. Okay, that research is done. So what's that? So that's for distillation. So that's for the toilets and stuff. That's fine. Uh, air systems, uh, we go for ventilation, pressure management, and temperature modulation. Okay, we're gonna do all of that because we need it. And then once these guys are trained up in being gophers, we can put, uh, we can get an apprentice miner who can then dig up the rest of this stuff, right? But for now, we can just excavate some of this. It'll just make a bigger CO2 pit, if nothing else, right? Right? Am I right? No? Check the germ tab to double check you aren't digging into death. No, we're not. It's fine. We're kind of close to digging into it. It's not, it's not even certain death, though. It's not that bad. The, o the only thing is, is when you disturb, when you dig up, like, uh, some of this slime, once it's dug, dug up, then these germs become airborne. But for now, they're just, like, surface germs, right? So we, we don't want to bust into here either, because look at all of these slime lung germs. Not They're not present in the chlorine, though, just, like, in the hydrogen. But yeah, this is this is gross in here. We'll definitely need suits for that. Oh, I mean, we, ideally we want suits for this as well. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Even if we can just get like one one suit online, that would be pretty good. Because then they'll be safer. Because otherwise they're, we're just going to have to make med beds. and These guys are just going to be constantly almost dead. It'll be a little bit tedious, but... Yeah, I'll be, yeah I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll see anyway. Um, what else do we need to do before that? I guess the, the toilets we need to do before that. Where are we going to drop all of our um, of our pee, pee We probably want like a big pit of pee, pee at the bottom, but we're going to have a big pit of water down here. So maybe we could put our pit of pee, -pee uh, under here. The pee, pee pit's not going to be that big. Well, it's not going to get that full to start with anyway. And then at least we can get the toilets and the sinks and stuff online. That'll be pretty good. You're doing great, Dad. Dad is studying yeah. that thing where you sit in your room at 10.30 eating caramel chocolate cookies in your underwear. Because if it is, I'm on my way to a university. <laughs> <laughs> Vegetable door bear, thanks so much. Good. Thank you very much for the donation and good luck with your university medal. Also, Two Finger Bandit Bill, thanks so much again for the donation as well. I appreciate it. And yeah, we'll play some Red Dead Redemption 2 for sure. For sure. I can't believe all this oxygen is crazy, isn't it? It's nuts. So once we have um, airlocks, that'll be pretty good. And we can start, um, we can start airlocking things off a little bit right like this doesn't need any air to it and the accompanying um, bits of machinery that we need in here too don't need air either right so we can just have this all collect up a bunch of like co2 and it should be fine we just want like our livable areas to have oxygen and then we'll have plenty of extra oxygen for our Atmos suits. So we're going to need a mess hall at some point, which we can maybe make like over here. Uh, and then we might even need uh, some more bunks and stuff. But again, we can make that over here. This will just be our, our starting water for like uh, for research and stuff. 
There's another pool up here. When this empties out, we can just easily pipe that down. And then we could even maybe pump some of this down into here as well. And then we'll have some water in here. So this water is close, which means that we could potentially use it in the base, but it'll be hot water. It'd be like uh, 70 degree water or something. So we'd have to like cool the water down if we're going to use it for anything in the base. Because again, temperature is going to be a bit of a problem here. Like the heat's going to be, it's going to get hot. It's going to get hot soon. Is there any YouTube content of you and P Flax? You guys crack me up on the Triforce podcast. Yeah, there it's is. It's also yeah. nice that Lewis comes as well. Yeah. But for science, let's just say he didn't. Okay. Any of that? <laughs> Sorry, Lewis. I think so, yeah. I'm not sure where, but I, I'm pretty sure that we did some Dota and stuff at some point. Uh, or it's just me and Flax. Uh, gastrophobia, unconstructive, and a narcoleptic. Uh, gastrophobia is not a bad one. He's got three athletics. He's got kindness, ranching, strength, and construction. I don't know if we need another guy right now, but he's a pretty good one. His stress reaction is vomiting. Um, I mean, we could take him on and do some ranching. It just means that we'd have to get probably even more food. No? Liam for my name is Liam. Yeah, but Liam's not very good, though. He won't build anything. Travaldo's got the athletics, which is pretty good, right? Ice biome. Yeah, we're going to find it. Don't worry. I think we'll just reject these guys. We don't really need anybody right now, so... Who knows? We might get somebody better after anyway. It doesn't matter. How are these guys doing with their jobs? We're about halfway through. And then we can get to... We can sw swap somebody over to be a full-time miner. We're not in a rush, though. It's fine. We've got plenty of time. We're, we're pretty good, like, resource-wise and stuff, right? we got metals up above here when we need them. Um, there's plenty of algae around for when we start actually need when we actually need to produce oxygen, but we don't right now because there's fucking tons of it in here. Uh, and then when we do start producing oxygen, hopefully we'll have sealed off like the um, this other part of the base, right? So that we can keep it tight. We can keep it nice and tight. <clears throat> Do we want to get a mess hall, or do we not even really need the morale right now? I don't even think we really need it. Um, okay, so this is going to be uh, the piss pit, and this is going to be the um, water sieve and all that kind of stuff down here, right? Which I think we have already? Yeah, we do. That's incredible. Okay, so let's get this thing uh, set up here with a um, battery. We gotta research the better battery, right? We should we should have probably done that first before we did all this other stuff. What are we researching right now? Temperature modulation. Actually, pressure management's a good one because we'll get the manual airlock. So once that's done, once pressure management is done, then we'll go we'll do power regulation so we can get the bigger battery. That'll be good. And then we can have a big battery in here and a wheel. Because this doesn't need to be hooked up to like the main power grid. Like it 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 doesn't use that much stuff. And also, we'll put some sand in here too. We'll put some sand in there. And then we can get all the toilets plumbed in and we should be good. Um, okay, so we wanna sweep up all this stuff uh, we would like to put in a liquid pump just for later. It doesn't need to be powered up or anything just yet. Um, so we can have like a wire coming like that. And then we can have the pipe coming up here too. We are probably going to fill the system first with a little bit of of this right so we could probably hook this up like that straight away and then we could just like unplug it after um so this is gonna be the uh fresh water so the fresh water goes in the bottom and then the wastewater um comes out at the top 
Goes all the way down, baby. To a, a vent, which will be here. 